On Pesach, when you pass by a bakery, a goy bakery, and they have hot bread, hot cakes, and the smell comes out, smells very good. Are you allowed to smell that? Says the Shulchan Aruch in Siman Taf Mem Gimel that Chametzo Shel Nochri Asur Le'enot Mimeno. You're not allowed to benefit from the Chametz, although it's not yours. You're allowed to look at Chametz that is not yours because it says in the Torah that you shouldn't see your Chametz. Lo Yirae Lecha Chametz. Shel Chai Atar Oyev Al Taroy Shel Acherim. So that is fine. But you're not allowed to benefit from any chametz, even a goy's chametz. And one of that benefits is smelling that chametz. And although the chametz is not made for the smelling, that's not what bread is made for. But still it's a su. First, because you have such a machloket, if pat ham is raui for smelling, it's made for smelling, nafkamina for the bracha. That's why the kafachayim says, that when you pass by a bakery and there's a hot bread, pat chama, even a Jewish bakery throughout the year, you should not smell. First of all, there's machloket. If it's made for smelling or not, so therefore it's a machloket if you're required to say a bracha over that smell of a bread or not. And secondly, even you are required, what's the bracha? Is it, a, is it a, just a regular bracha that you say, like, like any other thing that you smell, that smells good, which is Borei uh, Mineh Samim, or you say the bracha, Noten Reach Tov, Bapat. So since there's a double machloket over here, it's better to avoid smelling altogether throughout the whole year. But when we're dealing with Pesach, definitely one needs to avoid smelling because of that reason, because it's an ah of the bread, an ah from Chametz, even though it's the goys. Secondly, since the halacha is that chametz on Pesach is asur afilu b'mashu, the Gra learns that it's asur because of that to smell as well. And this is brought down in the Biur halacha in Taf Mem Gimel. And thirdly, you have also, whenever we deal with uh, chametz b'Pesach or any other smelling that's davar ha'asur throughout the year, the, the Biur halacha in Ilchot Berkot Pesach Ilchot Areach says that there's always such a thing that we're afraid that you might come to eat the thing that's restricted. So you, you pass by uh, some kind of place that is not kosher that barbecues and you smell that smell, you should avoid smelling it because of that reason, because you shema yavol ochlo, maybe you'll come to eat it. But that is only a sur, and that is uh, the main point over here. Uh, only if you smell it purposely, in other words, if you pass by and you don't have an intention to smell, that is mutar, because the halacha is brought down in Shulchan Aruch Yoredea, Kuf Mem Bet, in the Ramad, the davar she'en mitkaven shari, is machloket in Gbara in Sachim, lemaase, the shach says over there, that we posek halacha lemaase, that as long as you don't have that intention to smell the thing that's asur, although you're passing by, that's mutar, and that's what the marsham says, that if you live right by a place that sells something that's not kosher, a bakery, uh, and, and it's Pesach, you don't have, and the smell comes to your home, you don't have to move out because you don't have intention to smell that chametz or davar asur throughout the year.